The indigenous content in the upcoming Tejas Mark II fighter jet will breach 75%, and Hindustan Aeronautics is preparing a roadmap for further indigenization, so that it crosses the 80% level of indigenization when it is in production. HAL had to slow down the production of the Tejas FOC standard, due to lockdowns in supplier countries, and learning from this experience. HAL is trying to create a new ecosystem, and source most of the components and equipment for the Tejas Mark II locally, even though they are freely available from foreign suppliers, that will reduce dependency on foreign suppliers for minor components, and avoid any disruption of supplies in case of sanctions or lockdowns in supplier countries. Hindustan Aeronautics has showcased a product brochure at the Africa Aerospace and Defence Expo 2022, that displays India's light combat helicopter with quadrail launcher carrying 16 anti-tank guided missiles, and this is seen as confirmation of the development of the quadrail launcher for the light combat helicopter. Hindustan Aeronautics is in the process of integrating the 8 km range through Vastral anti-tank guided missiles on the light combat helicopter and 16 ATGMs on one LCH will make it highly capable for anti-armor operations. The Indian Army has already inducted 5 units, and the Indian Air Force will induct 10 units on 3rd October. The Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle developed by Gridbots Technologies is already being evaluated by the Indian Army for conducting real-time day and night surveillance operations on the battlefield without any human assistance. And interestingly, Gridbots Technologies has now hinted at the possibility of its Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle being integrated with 2.8 km range Amog 3 3rd generation ATGM developed by Bharat Dynamics Limited that features anti-armor tandem warhead, which can penetrate more than 650 mm explosive reactive armor. The Titan Autonomous Combat Vehicle weighs 1,000 kg, and it has a payload capacity of 1,500 kg, a speed of 20 km per hour, fully autonomous navigation, long endurance, 45-degree climbing capability, smart charging, and it can operate in remote mode follow fleet mode and autonomous mode. After the Defence Ministry's approval, the Army has started the acquisition process for 4.25 lakh carbines, and the possible contenders in the tender includes M72 carbine of SSS Defence, F90 by a joint venture of Kalyani Group and Tails Australia, close quarters battle carbine by Kalyani Group and DRDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment, Insers 1C by Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited. Galilei's Carbine by Adani PLR System, Card 816 by Crackle and its Indian partner MKU Limited, T4 Carbine by Taurus and Jindal Group, and CZ Brand 2 by CZ and India's CMTPL. A high-level delegation of Namibia, visited the stall of Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited at the Africa Aerospace and Defence Expo 2022. The Namibian delegation were briefed on products such as large caliber artillery systems, artillery ammunition, mortar systems, and joint venture protective carbine. The commander of Namibian army also showed keen interest in weapons offered by the company. A senior Indian army official has said that the concept of integrated battle groups has been test bedded with the Army's 9 Corps on the western border with Pakistan, and the 17 Mountain Strike Corps on India's northern border with China, and the integrated battle groups will be rolled out in a phased manner. The strength of one unit of integrated battle group will be around 10,000 personnel, that can be positioned quickly on the borders.